What's up, everybody? Matt Nuzzo. We're here at Real and really excited to talk about the 2020 lineup of North Kiteboarding. So first off, we've got the North Navigator Control System. Uh, this is the new North Bar, and I will tell you, having kiteboarded for 20 plus years, that control bars are the hardest thing to get right. Um, you know, it's just it's just really hard to make the safety system work. It's really hard to make it right. You know, they're a really challenging piece, a critical piece, because the safety is the most important thing. Having your safety release work and having the fly lines be strong enough and all that. And North absolutely nailed it with this thing. It's killer because you'll hear through the review they tapped into the North sailing vault of you know uh, for materials and some of the some of the stuff that they needed to find and just got a treasure trove of awesome new uh, products and features that this bar has that are totally unique to the industry. When you start with a completely clean slate, you can make some awesome stuff and not have any of that legacy leftover uh, you know stuff that you've been working on for however long you've been making kites and bars. So let's get into it. One of the most interesting pieces about this bar is no question the chicken loop. So um, they've decided to make a one hand chicken loop. So one hand chicken loop means when you pull it, the release goes out, comes back down, click. Super audible, hear that? Click, it's very audible, you could hear it in the water, you know you're in there and super secure. So really quick, easy to, to set back up. You don't need two hands, you don't need to hold the hood up and do any of this type of stuff. Just drop that thing down, click it in, super easy. Uh, next, and probably one of the, the um, most interesting pieces that's totally unique to what uh, what they're doing is the the uh, toolless interloop system. So you've got this little rubber ring. Basically, this is just like a little safety guard. This rubber ring, um, you know, it's got a little lock uh, looking thing on there. Uh, basically, it just keeps you from being able to remove the chicken loop. Um, I, I don't know how you do it anyways. I said during all the testing, they did it without these rings, but they just put it on there as an extra safety precaution. You roll that ring down, push, twist, release. That's it. It's no magic, no tools. Push, twist, click back in. Okay? Boom, I'm clicked back in. Okay? So, um, why is that important is that these chicken loops, you know, they're kind of a pain in the butt to change on anyone if, if you actually have the option to change the chicken loop at all. So, this comes with a standard one, but they also have uh, three other versions. So they've got the small, uh, extra small, which is going to bring the bar closer to you for kids um, or people that are a little bit shorter. Uh, it's really nice. Or if you just want to have the bar in closer to your body, you can get that extra small one. They also have this, uh, the small one with the metal sheathing on here, which is great for the slide rope. Again, with the rope, the rope is extending. So having that uh, shorter loop with the, the metal on it, it's going to keep the loop from chafing, but it's also going to allow you to um, you know, have that shorter connection. And then they have the wake style, freestyle one. Um, you know, the wake style loop is that bigger loop with no uh, donkey dick on there. So super, super easy to go. So I'm, I'm going to do this again. It's not magic. Bam, in. Okay. Click it back in there. I can put this little rubber piece on here. It doesn't really, you don't really need that rubber piece. So if you lose it or something like that, not a big deal. You can ride it without. They said in all of their testing, they use no, none, they didn't use this little rubber piece here and they didn't have any issues with it. Um, below the bar here, you do have a center line swivel, um, so you can untwist your center lines uh, just by doing that. You'll see that the tubing is like a rectangle, so sometimes if the bar is like, you know, you're like really sheeted in, it does almost take two hands, but you can untwist your lines. Not that critical, but we did notice that uh, in our testing that this rectangular uh, uh, tubing here um, does require you to sometimes use two hands to untwist that. Uh, so, since I'm talking about this tubing, this is one of those space age technology things they got from Norse. So they're finding that a lot of the plastic tubing um, on, on other bars that they were using and testing, a lot of the, 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 um, the tubing that they were getting was just after a lot of use it would get kind of like oily and get like really funky. You get a lot of this like black stuff all over your hands. It was just kind of nasty. So they got this like crazy space age material. Um, that doesn't, that wears perfectly, doesn't have, create any extra like byproduct like that black gunk that comes off of it. But most importantly, it works just as well in cold water as it does in, uh, in warm water. So uh, a lot of those plastic tubings, you get them in colder weather or colder water or say snow kiting or something, and the tubing is just like, it's super solid and stiff. Um, so they, you know, they do, uh, you know, they did get this tubing and it's just like, they are like, they went to the North Vault and it was just like, oh yeah, you need this stuff. Boom, got this tubing and it's killer. So when you see there, it does look like a rectangle, right? Most other ones on the market are a uh, circle. And what happens is that this tube is split into two pieces. You've got the chicken loop line that comes down that's going to secure to it. And then you've got the flagging safety line that goes through there. 
with a circle means that it's going to be cut in half as a half moon. And this little knot here that pulls through oftentimes is catching on other uh, on, on that circle tubing. So with this rectangle, it slides through really efficiently. And that's what a really important part for safety because what would happen otherwise, it would go up and it would stop. Whereas this one, it surefire slides right through, the kite flags out every single time. So, you know, they're really focused on safety and they want to make sure they had just like a, a really, really, um, you know, safe thing. So they, again, they address some super important details as opposed to saying, hey, we're putting this in market, this is what we've been using and we'll try and kind of modify this or that. They basically made it and said, hey, no, no, we got to address this. This is a major issue. So we do want to make sure that that tubing is there. Um, it is really pliable and soft, but they still do recommend when you wrap up your bar, pull that line out there, um, and then wrap the lines on the bar. Um, when you're coming up a little farther, you can see here with these, uh, these flag out line here, a lot of companies are just having this knot just kick up against this little Y here. They put a little plastic cone and that's going to keep it from wearing. So these little plastic cones on the end here are just going to keep that from wearing. So again, nice little features that they're paying attention to. When you get up to the depower strap, this plastic piece here, even though it just looks like a stopper, it allows the, the, uh, the depower strap to lay down. So when you're flying this, it actually lays down, whereas most other ones, when you're full power, the thing sticks up because the cleats popped up. So as opposed to sticking up and having to reach farther, they want to make it be able to lay down. When you're kiteboarding, that thing lays straight down so it gets it a, quite a bit closer so you can, can reach up and grab it. Again, another nice feature for, you know, I don't really mind it, but, uh, you know, my wife's always like, I can't reach that thing. So um, having this be a little bit longer and, and flop down so you grab it makes a really, really nice feature. Now let's get to the bar. So the bar is coming in two sizes. You've got a 45 to 50 and a 50 to 55. So this is the 50 to 55, this is the 40, uh, the 45 to 50. Um, they are adjustable through these cartridges on the end. You're just going to pop this thing out, okay, and then you can switch it around and that's going to change the bar length. Um, yes, it does work and basically it's, you know, the bar feels wherever the bar hit, the line hits the end of the bar, that's how long the bar feels even though it is a full 55 length. Then also underneath here, you pull that out further, you've got your adjuster knots that are tucked right in, into the inside. Um, I did love that they, uh, I do love that they uh, are using classic sailing colors. So they put red on the left, green on the right. Again, it's a sailing sport. So a lot of companies came out and they were putting red on the right when they began. And it was like, what is going on? It's sailing, red's on the left. Green's on the right. That's how it works. Just that's a very known thing. Like just go with it. And so again, North is, I think, the first company uh, that has come out and done this appropriately to the sailing world and sailing regulations. So very nice job on, on getting that set up there. Um, in the end, here you have your uh, your bar winders. These are just elastic bungees that come over. Uh, they are replaceable. So if this bungee, you know, a lot of times these things will break or wear out over time. It's just elastic, so you can pull that out and replace it. And then they kind of suck in ni nice there. Bar end um, are not overbuilt. A lot of, you know, it's nice and soft EVA. They've got your floats here. These are real loose, so they're not going to affect the kite while you're flying it because some, some that are stiffer, they'll kind of affect the, uh, the turning of the kite. But this soft EVA, you know, it's enough that if you smash yourself in the face, you're not going to get black eye, but uh, it's also not like super overbuilt. Um, definitely, I've definitely hit myself in the face with the bar. <laughs> A lot um, over the years, like a lot of times, kite surfing, like you know, like hit you know, hit the wave hard or something like that, and just smashes in the face. So it is good to have a nice EVA bar end. Um, so when you get down to the actual bar, you've got red on the left. Uh, this is an ergonomic grip. So if I turn around like this, it feels really, really weird, right? So there's this big ridge here, so it definitely feels strange if I flip it upside down. So when I grab the bar, I know I've got it right, and I don't even have to look at it. Um, and then when it comes down to the middle, it tapers down. It's super skinny right here at the middle because um, that's where you're normally flying your, your bar um, is your hands in the middle. So it's nice to have that real skinny piece. And then if you're doing unhook stuff and gripping the middle, that's like super skinny. Um, you don't have the, the ergonomic piece there. Um, so it's just like you can just grip it and you, you know that you've got a good, solid, solid connection there. Um, so when we work our way up the bar, uh, you can get to the pigtail. So again, kind of when you're starting fresh, uh, you don't have any legacy information. So this just looks like a standard set of pigtails, which it is. And the cool thing is that they made them red and green again. And then these are also the exact same pigtails that are on the kite, right? So having the same pigtails on the kite and on the bar allows you to take the, an extra set of pigtails when you go on vacation, because these things, they do wear out. Um, 
they do chafe. These are kind of high wear items. But if your your you know uh, kite pigtails or your bar pigtails mess up, it's the same ones. Now the real secret sauce here. Okay, so. These fly lines just look like your everyday fly lines. They actually look kind of skinny, you know, so I was like, man, these things look pretty weak, you know, like they kind of look like chintzy little fly lines. Like it just kind of, they kind of seemed thin to me. When I picked it up, I was like, uh, looks like they skimped a little on lines. Well, actually they didn't. They went to the North Vault and they got, they said, hey, we need some really high end, uh, high quality lines. North said, hey, here's, five, here's the tech specs on five different uh, line samples we have. Uh, and they ended up on this one which is a 490 kilogram braking strength that is the highest braking strength of any flying line by I think 90 kilograms on the market. It's like way stronger than anything on the market. It's also one of the thinnest lines on the market. So I think it said it was 1.6 millimeters. Uh, it's definitely a lot of tech, but uh, 1.6 millimeters thick. So um, wh what does that mean to you as the, the person out there? One, the strength is there's just no stretch. Like you fly the kite, it's like direct response. You turn the kite, super direct response. Um, the thinness, it is a perfect circle, okay? That's the other thing is they're like, hey, it could be this thin, but it's an oval or flat or something like that. And, you know, they said the circle is going to have way less drag through the air. Flying it, you notice how strong these lines are and how taut the connection to the kite is, but also how thin they are because they just have less drag. Uh, these are 22 meter lines, and so you think about a 22 meter line flying through there, you're gonna hear, you're gonna have drag, and a lot of lines you hear them whistle, whist whistling like mad. These lines don't whistle at all. Like you know you are, you know they're fishing because you don't hear anything when you're flying these kites. So um, great job on, on going and tracking down a really, really high quality line set. Um, they also did something pretty unique here, is that with the 22 meter lines they've got coming off of the bar, um, they have, uh, coming off of the bar, they've got uh, 12 meter lines and then they go to 10 meter line extensions. So for teaching or, you know, for like my kids and stuff like that, put them on the 12 meter lines is great because it just cuts the wind window in half and you just get a lot, it takes a lot of the guts uh, out of the kite. Um, so being able to, to convert this bar to 12 meter lines or 10 meter lines, that's really awesome. They also have an accessory set of uh, 10, meter line ex uh, 10 meter line extensions that are cut down in eights and twos. So you can kind of, with that, you can kind of mix and match and make any line length that you really, really wanted. Uh, the 22 in our testing, we found the 22 meter line, uh, line length kind of felt right on everything. So um, kudos, uh, kudos to those guys. Um, so one last feature here is that uh, all bars do come uh, with the nice leash here, nice short leash. Strange, it looks like a Mystic leash, which is a really good thing because Mystic's making great accessories and North and Mystic are owned by the uh, same company. North Sales own, owns both of them. Um, and so, uh, you know, having this really high quality leash that's coming with it is a really great accessory. Um, the extra chicken loops, the uh, extra chicken loops, you can buy those as accessories. They got a, a kit of three um, or, you know, you can kind of buy, buy either any of the ones that you need. Uh, we found that the short one and the sliding one are kind of the two most popular ones. Uh, some people just like the just, you know, using that sh shortly uh, chicken loop for their um, you know, for their main one, just because, you know, again, pulling that bar right in there. And as far as the bar goes, um, the 45 to 50 is working on a lot of the kites, um, you know, kind of up to like 11, 12, depending on the type of riding you're doing. Um, and then this one going down to 50, you know, I'll ride the, uh, like I can ride the 55 to 50, um, you know, I'll, I'll switch it up and ride the 50 down to maybe like a nine meter uh, or something like that. But, you know, below the nine meter, I'll, I'll want to switch it up to the, to the 45 because the kites are pretty quick. Uh, so that's the tech on the North Navigator Bar. If you have questions, just give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, or you can reach us at realwatersports.com.